Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update your Windows 11 to version 2.5H2 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to run SFC and DISM command. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. The commands are provided in the video description. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command and paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. Once it is complete, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows Update and then over here, if you see retry option, you can click on retry. If that does not work, click on pause over here. And once it is paused, now click on resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness. Click on select app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now find Windows Update. Scroll down at the bottom. You will see Windows Update. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. Then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Again, set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. And again, make a right click and then click on restart. And then try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And if there is any update, you will see update option. If you see the ref refresh option, you can click on refresh. If it tells you to install PC health checkup, you can install it. Check if the computer is compatible for version 2.5H2 or not. And then you can click on refresh and then you can install the update. In my case, it is already up to date. Still not working. The next step is to use option fix problems using Windows update. Now for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to Windows update and then go to advanced option. Scroll down, click on recovery. Over here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall current version of your Windows. This will reinstall current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time and when once it is complete, you can try to install 2.5H2. Still not working. You can use media creation tool. Go to Microsoft website, scroll down. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Now. And then you can run this exe file. When you run this exe file, you will see the screen. Click on Accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file over here and then click on Next. You can save it to desktop. Save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on Finish and then let this close automatically. It will take few seconds to close. Once closed, go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file and then make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow, click on next, click on accept. And here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. After the installation, you can log into the computer and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your Windows 11 to version 2.5 H2. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.